Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to hide confidential and sensitive data in Excel. Here I have a made up data set. Now I am gonna show you how to hide the phone numbers of people aged below 20. To do that first select the phone numbers then from the home tab go to conditional formatting, new rule and then for the rule type select use a formula to determine which cells to format then in the formula box type this formula equal to b2 less than 20 then click on the format button and use any font style or any font color you want then from the number tab choose any number formatting you can type three semicolons to hide the numbers you can also put any text within double quotes to show them in place of those numbers but anyone can click on those cells and see the hidden numbers in the formula bar to avoid that select the phone numbers then go to format cells and from the protection tab make sure both the locked and hidden checkboxes are checked then go to the review tab and protect the worksheet with a password now i'm gonna show you how to hide the last digits of credit card numbers to do that you can use this formula now hide the original column containing the actual credit card numbers to stop people from unhiding the original column go to the review tab and protect the worksheet with a password you can also hide the actual digits of salary amounts to do that you can use this formula You can also hide the middle characters of email addresses as you see when websites ask you to verify your identity. To do this, you can use this formula. If you want to hide an entire worksheet, right click on the worksheet tab, then click on hide. But anybody can right click and unhide the tab again. To solve this issue, right click on the worksheet tab, then click on viewport. Then make sure that particular worksheet is selected. Then from the properties table, set the visible properties to Excel very hidden. Now go to the review tab and protect your workbook with a password to stop people from changing the visible property again. So that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.